Hey guys, welcome back. I know it's been a long day and you might be a little sleepy. I know I am. After a long day, I like to cuddle up in my bed with my nice stuffed animals and read a nice bedtime story. Today we're going to be reading, tonight, sorry, we're going to be reading Muppet Babies Animal Go Bye Bye by Louise Gico, illustrated by Tom Brandon. You might want to grab your stuffed animals for tonight because I have my pink monster and my purple penguin. I know I'm ready. Are you? I know I am. Don't forget me. Let's get started. Animal Go Bye Bye. Kermit had called Baby Animal three times, but Animal wasn't paying any attention. He had a piece of paper in front of him, and he was busy drawing a picture of an amusement park. No sleep, Animal shouted. Animal, go here, and he pointed to his picture. No, Animal, said Kermit patiently. You can't go to the amusement park now. You have to take your nap. No nap, Animal said stubbornly. Animal, go bye-bye. Animal shut his eyes tight. When he opened them, there was a Ferris wheel and the merry-go-round. And best of all, there was a roller coaster. Animal go roller coaster, he said, happily climbing in. Animal, said a voice behind him. Animal turned around, and there was Kermit. It's time for your nap, Kermit said. Come on, no, Animal go bye-bye. You guys enjoying the story so far? Uh-huh, sure am. Here's him riding the roller coaster. He's having a lot of fun. There's Kermit saying, hey, get down from there. When Animal got off the roller coaster, Kermit was still there. Submarine, Animal ride, submarine, Animal said. Nap, Animal take nap, Kermit replied, looking a little lame. Submarine, nap. The submarine took Animal to a desert island. Animal play in sand. Animal began throwing sand around everywhere. Animal go nap, Kermit said, popping up right behind him. No nap, Animal shook his head. Animal go bye bye. Oh, I, didn't, I don't know if I showed you the last picture here it is. I don't know if I showed you or not. And this is him going on a boat. Uh oh. Looks like he's going on a nice little vacation. Animal went out on deck. Animal play game, he said. Animal sleep, Kermit called out as he climbed aboard the ship. No, Animal go bye-bye. Animal jumped into a lifeboat and rowed away. See him playing a little game and then he's running away. Are you guys feeling a little sleepy? Hmm, I know I am. <laughs> hey, why is his name Animal? Because he's an animal, silly. Aren't we animals too? You sure are, my favorite ones. Let's continue the story. Animal rode for a long time. Finally, he reached the shore. Big building, Animal said, looking up. Big trouble, Kermit answered. Answered, Animal, you'll be in big trouble if you don't take your nap. Animal, go bye-bye, Animal said, waving. From the top of the building, Animal could see the whole city. Animal Animal, look, he cried. Animal, sleep, Kermit said. Animal, no sleep. Animal, go bye-bye. 
So there's the big tower and there's him. The balloon took Animo off to a big airport. Animo watched the jet planes take off and land. Animal, fly away, he said, jumping up and down. Animal, Kermit sighed. If you don't take your nap, Nanny will be very angry. Animal, go bye-bye, Animal shout shouted. There's little Kermit. Looks like he's having a nice time on the plane. Animal sat back and looked out the window of the airplane. He was a little tired after all of his adventures. Soon his eyes started to close. Animal sleepy, he murmured. Looks like my little animals are sleepy too. As he began to fall asleep, Animal felt the flight attendant covering him with a soft blanket. Why don't you take a nice nap, Animal heard him say. sleepy. Me too. Well, I'm getting sleepy too. This is a really good book, huh? Ooh. Kermit finished covering Animal with a blanket. Animal had already started to snore. But as Kermit tiptoed away, Animal opened one eye. Animal go bye-bye, he whispered. Animal go bye-bye. Kermit whispered back, sweet dreams. Hmm. And there he is sleeping. The end. I don't know about you, but I really enjoyed that story, right guys? Looks like they had a long day too. Well, Thank you guys for joining me tonight for this amazing book. Make sure you tune in next, next time. Bye.